slideshow started for spoil. Oh, I got it. Uh, the screen back. Boom. And let's see if this works. <laughs> I don't. I just the white, all white screen with. Oh no, there's some gray at the bottom. Yeah, it's. Uh, I didn't pick a theme. <laughs> Luch Movie Studio. Woo! <laughs> oh my god. All right, I'm ready. Okay. Uh, I'm trying to. Th I guess the webcams are probably fine. Probably fine where they are. Oh, I'll remove the pit vipers now. <laughs> oh yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay, there we go. All right. Looch movie studio woohoo. So first thing that we're going through, let me recap again. We're going through three filmmakers placed under contract. Going to the first slide. I went in hot. Ooh. I slammed Christopher okay. Nolan immediately. I brought George Lucas out of retirement. And, you know, I need I need somebody that'll put the young theater into the seats. So I brought Jordan Peele in as well. And I'm going to dominate. I understand all these picks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I've got all we generations have no covered. Picks here, but... Oh, really? <laughs> I've got all generations covered. I've got this. I think this is just gonna cover everybody. And they they do different genres too. They all do like different genres it's a, too. It's a good money making move. Yeah, I think I think this is like I'm fucking cash cowing with this set. I like how Jordan Peele is like super compressed. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. He, his the other ones are like normal. His pick was <laughs> well. His like pick was like super... way too fucking big. <laughs> it it covered like the whole thing. I had to really slam it down, so he got cheesed a little bit. Um, wait till you see some of the other slides with that. Um, but the next thing we got to go through, we got to go through our actors and actresses that we got to sign immediately. So, uh, oh, next slide. There we go. So yeah, I'm I went in with bangers right away and I specifically <laughs> picture. I I uh I, I looked up I just, I didn't What are do... these three people? Why are they all next to each other? <laughs> so, I know. I could have went with somebody else because I, I have another slide for the other two people, but I just thought throwing fucking ninety year old Michael Caine with them was really funny. <laughs> <laughs> so I just had to do that. Um, I'm hiding the webcams for a sec. I did not look up a troll pic of Margot Robbie. I just looked up Margot Robbie, and I saw that as one of the first ones, and I was like, that's too funny. That's going in there. So I, I couldn't resist. Amazing. But recovering the young audience. Michael Caine's the goat. He needs to be in every movie that I make. Um, and then we've got to bring oh. in the other... <laughs> we got a bit of a combo package here. Um, bringing in the heat Willem with Willem Dafoe. Dafoe I wanted Dale. to put in mine so badly, but I didn't want to go with like two old people. I didn't give a fuck. I I love Willem Dafoe. Right, and he got thrown in there. Collections are unhinged. <laughs> it's both from the same movie too. <laughs> it's a different scene, but uh, I thought that made it better too. Um, but yeah, I don't know. If I if we redid the top three actors, Willem Dafoe would absolutely be in there. So I had to make up for it and and throw I love him in Willem here. Dafoe. He's fucking great. I might He's watch like The Lighthouse tonight. Now, which is crazy. It's great. He should be in every movie. And that's why I signed him. Um, oh, yeah. This, this is the hard one that we're coming up to. The literary, okay. literary properties. And I want to make money. <laughs> um, so I figured Harry I, Potter I and that. Game of Thrones are just like, I'm banking out. I think they still have a lot of traction. They've lost a little bit, but I think they still have a lot oh, of traction. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, You'd for sure make money at least on like the first two. Yeah, I, I think people, if you make a good Harry Potter or Game of Thrones show or movie, well, this is a movie studio, um, but you know what I mean. I think people will fucking flock to that shit like easily still. For sure, so, for sure. And then The Witcher, uh, we'll we'll get to it. The, I have a I have a greater plan. Th this will come in a future slide. Um, okay. We're okay. gonna we're gonna move on to the next one. This is screenwriters, I believe. You won't recognize either of them, maybe. That's Damien Chazelle on the right, who apparently screen wrote Whiplash as well as directed it, and probably did that for all the movies, because, like, I don't know. But, I don't know, I thought the movie was pretty lit, so I threw him in there. And then it's Jonathan Nolan on the left, so he can combo up with Chris, and they can do their thing, and oh, fucking yeah. dominate. Good, 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 good stack. Yep, exactly. I've got the powerhouse duo, and, yeah, I, I, I feel very confident. Um... 
And then we've oh fuck I forgot I did this. Oh, <laughs> uh, oh my gosh. So I needed a wild card, and I went big. And you know, obviously, Duo's music music career oh, is your wild card. You chose somebody who doesn't write, produce, or direct. But that's the thing. All right, this is a wild card. You get a letter. <laughs> yes, this is a wild card. Are, what are you gonna go with an established? person for writing directing and producing for wild card okay, no that's okay. not the point yeah, yeah, yeah. i think this is perfect logic that's not the point of a wild card you go with someone completely you're unexpected least, no experience you're at least gonna make money on the first movie that says directed by dua lipa exactly exactly and she will be um this will be the cover <laughs> it won't be um but i All i right. actually i believe in this pick i think this is a great pick and it's gonna dominate because I okay originally I had Tom Cruise written down, <laughs> and then uh and then I I crossed Solid. him out. I was you just fucked out Tom Cruise for Dua Lipa. I get it. <laughs> I needed a true wild card. Okay, I I didn't want it to be boring. I I went for a true wild card. So there you go. Add Dua to the roster. Oh here we go. So yeah, continued in a later slide. I am gonna save the Witcher the Witcher franchise because that show sucks balls, and I'm over it. So um I'm taking over. <laughs> And I'm going to completely save the whole thing. Uh, I'm going to cancel the show. We're going to have a six-movie saga, you know, not reminiscent of any other popular six-movie saga. Nope. Um, and we're going to write, know we're gonna write the ship. Saga. Oh, that's true. Well, those, other, those last three are fake. <laughs> I guess there's Harry Potter, too, but that's technically eight because there's a part two. Ah, whatever. Um... Are you canceling the new season of the TV show before it even comes out? I'm canceling it all. I'm canceling it all. I'm recasting everybody. You're just I'm putting it. I'm putting you're just Henry it Cavill. Taken off streaming. Yes, it's it's getting removed from Netflix. Um, everybody's getting fired except for like I don't know, maybe like two people. And Henry Cavill is getting put back into his rightful spot, uh, as Geralt. And I'm recasting everybody else, and it's all gonna be perfect. I actually I could probably give you literally every role. My my fan casting and then everything else too. I don't have that in this slideshow, but I actually could. All right, Luch fan casting coming next week. We'll do it next week, and it, it it'll be better than what they did. And I could I could honestly write it too, or Dua could write it. Fuck it. <laughs> probably, probably do a better job than they fucking did. Um, I've never seen the show, so the first season's like actually oh, decent. Oh hell yeah! Oh hell Wizard yeah. of Oz. I'm going to ruin this probably, which is why I kind of regret picking this, but... What's your fan cast for Wizard of Oz, then? Oh, fuck. That's really hard. Uh, I'm going to go well, off like, my... Who's Dorothy? Is it Dua Lipa? Oh, that could work. It's a musical. Wait. This is genius. That's that's why this I thought you genius. picked it. This is genius. Wait, I didn't even think of that. Okay, hold on. The Dua wildcard comes back. She's playing fucking Dorothy. Uh, who else are we going to have play everybody else? You got like Bad Bunny as like <laughs> one of them. You can get like Jason Derulo and Usher. Who's really like fucking hairy? Like I want the lion to just be a hairy dude. Like there's no suit. <laughs> can you think of a really hairy dude? Uh no, I cannot. <laughs> but... Oh my god. Um, I'm okay with that. I'm okay with that casting. I think that's good. Um, I'm looking forward to this coming out. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> these uh, these images got what fucked. Is this <laughs> <laughs> these images got fucked. My first film. We're remaking Halloween again. This is like the fifth remake of that first movie. Margot Robbie is making with Harley Quinn or Margot Robbie. <laughs> Mar Margot Robbie is going to be playing Jamie Lee Curtis's role. Uh, Sydney Sweeney will be one of her friends. Willem Dafoe. Michael Myers. Oh, okay. Oh wait, actually, that's a good twist. I like that. I changed my mind. Sydney Sweeney's gonna be Michael Myers. Okay. Willem Dafoe is bait. Willem Dafoe is bait. He's gonna be like creepy in the background. Yeah, it's like a twist. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're gonna think it's him. And then Sydney Sweeney just comes out, rips her shirt off. Like she comes out at like the last second, so you can take the like, mask three off. Movies. Yes. Comes out, she's gonna get killed, but then not be dead. And then um yeah, it's gonna be fucking it's gonna be fucking sick. We're gonna have a trilogy and it's gonna be great. All right. It's gonna all right. wait. Wait. No. No. Okay. You haven't seen Austin Powers. This is the twist. She's gonna rip her shirt off, but instead of nipples, it's gonna be knives, and she's gonna go. Aww. Oh my god. Is it? No. You haven't seen Austin you Powers. Know, It'll make it, sense. I don't know if I'd feel good about it. Uh, 
in in Austin Powers they have a uh, at the end there's fucking a bunch of chicks that have fucking uh, guns for their for their nips and that's like oh. part of the that's part of the conclusion. You should watch the trilogy. Um, it's fucking great. I I top my watch list. But yeah, this movie this cast is incredible. Uh, I don't really have a concept for it. That's I don't know. I couldn't come up with anything original, so. I did what every other movie studio does, and I believe in this cast, and I believe in the writing crew that I haven't decided on yet. Oh, Jordan Peele's directing. He's going to put his own twist on it. Oh, okay, okay, I got you. So there we go. It's going to be great. <laughs> See, I, I said it wasn't, uh, I said there was a connection. Studio location is going to be in Dallas, Texas. Uh, we're taking over, I don't, I don't even, I think they're in Austin, not Dallas, but we're, we're, we're taking over Rooster Teeth's fucking uh legacy oh um and i wanted studios. to i wanted to have a studio in texas and that is why we have the mavs logo i gotcha so that I gotcha. was the connection i don't even think i have images for these last two i didn't i didn't really know what to do <laughs> uh when do we sh- i mean it's boring I, I like my exclusive idea but yeah just immediate to streaming i don't care low budget movies i don't know how we're gonna do that with these people that i'm trying to bring in but that's what we're gonna do <laughs> they're gonna sign on for the art Yes, I, I think that's they'll they're gonna love the ideas and they're gonna believe in them. Oh, I forgot to start recording. I can get the vod. I can get the vod. It's fine. It's fine. Uh, studio name. Uh, Luchas Film. Which is not all right. Getting sued, and that's I'm actually that's why I brought yeah, on George not Lucas. Sued. Uh, I'm protecting myself to make here. Make sure you don't get sued. Yes, but Luchas Film is the name, right. and that's uh yeah, that's what I got. You think the the studio is making one billion dollars? I think we actually would. I think we actually would. It would fucking dominate. So I'm pretty proud of it. Well, we took very different approaches. I'm kind of scared to see yours now. All right, let me let me conk all this shit. Uh, oh, there we go. the fuck oh my god yeah we definitely right. so <laughs> some different approaches Whoa. uh so i'm a uh, film the douchebag potential fuck you <laughs> which is just french for uh douchebag films or pretentious, pretentious douchebag films yeah i, I could figure that out <laughs> i All like right. i like the studio name i like where we're going already damn it your slideshow's better so, than mine you have a theme my th- my studio is not about making money. We're all about losing money. Oh, we're, like, <laughs> we're going to go like the complete opposite approach. I'm glad this worked out this way. <laughs> well. So for my filmmakers, we got Wes Anderson, Yorgos Lanthimos, and Robert Eggers. All right. So we got my Wes Anderson is just, I don't You can't even ca- John, put him in a genre or a category. All right. You're just going to do whatever. Lanthimos is like, drama but like something you've never seen before they're really weird and robert eggers is like pretentious horror okay what has he made so for my he made um the witch he made uh the northman he oh yeah the fucking wait is another it movie I've the seen. witch that's the vivich right yeah yeah yeah. okay <laughs> so i get sure um and i chose movie stars who have been in these people's movies kind of so we've got Tom Cruise. All right, we're bringing it back. God damn it! He we made Magnolia. He can Chalamet. do this. He can, he can do this. All right, yeah, he can. I'm he can. He can. We have Anya Taylor Joy. Um, you know her ten inch apart eyes are really gonna like. Why <laughs> always in. go there? <laughs> I feel bad for putting the fucking Sydney fucking knife titties, and then you just go with her ten <laughs> ten inch apart eyes. Like Jesus. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and she's in the Vavitch. The fucking Oh, I forgot um, she's in that. Well she's in the Northman and too. And right? she's in the Northman. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Then oh, we have Tim- like a, Timothy and Chalamet. Like a gnat on my screen. Out so Tom Cruise said Timothy Chalamet is the next Tom Cruise. What? Did he really so say that? If we have Yeah, yeah, yeah. What the fuck? So if we have ah. to branch out and make action in our stupid studio just to make money. Mm-hmm. 
we're just gonna pair Tom Cruise and Timothy Chalamet up in like a buddy action movie. Okay. Uh, all right. So we have Emma Stone, who's in Yorgos Lanthimos's uh, um, Poor Things, yep. and then one other movie. And then we have I Io Edabiri, who is like a TV actress, but you know. She's got that like good like deadpan delivering delivering of her oh, lines, okay. which is really good for your goats hmm. and Wes Anderson. I yeah, think she need, can do it. That. I think she could do it. Okay. Right, we got a good setup here. All right, literary <laughs> properties. Oh, we're redoing Twilight just for the money. Just for, just the, for money. the money. Okay, you gotta get because started. We can cast a bunch of nobodies in it, and some stupid fucking thirteen year olds will come watch it. Yeah. I think it'd work. Um, we're I think it'd still work. The Hitchhiker's Guide to the Galaxy because I read that book and then immediately watched the movie and I was like, damn, this shit sucks. <laughs> um so this is just for me. Yeah, we're gonna fix that up. And then we're doing the catcher in the rye because famously JD Salinger's family will not let them adapt it into a movie, but since this is fictional, I'm forcing them to. <laughs> okay. How long does that? So, uh, how long does that last? You know, like the rights, like they gotta just someone's just gonna do it at some point, right? Like, well, can't... at one point they're screwed, but like they still won't let them adapt it. Can't can't somebody just like rename all the characters and be a real douche about it? Like, what you know what I Probably. mean? Probably. Like, what could you do about it? I'm surprised no one's done that. Maybe they have. Um, Maybe there's a movie like that. I I put three screenwriters instead of two because I didn't read my own prompt. Oh shit. So we have Ephthamus Filippo, Lieg Wanel, and Roman Coppola. Oh boy. Um, so Ephthamus is one of the screenwriters for Yorgos, and Roman Coppola is one of the screenwriters for Wes Anderson. But then we threw in a wild card, because Lieg Wanel uh, wrote the original Saw movie. Oh, okay. Throwing him in there. The other two um, have right, so connections. So for my wild but, card... Yeah. My wild card, we went with Donald Glover, all right? Because he, <laughs> okay. has, he has written, produced, and acted. He has not directed. Maybe he's directed, like, a, uh, he's probably directed a TV episode. A music video account? <laughs> well, he's no, in you're Atlanta, right. he's, and that's, yeah, like, his show. He's, so he's yeah. probably written an episode he or two. He has to have, yeah. I would think so. I just chose him because people love him, and he's pretty much done everything. Yeah, that's fair. I haven't heard from him at all. Right. And you He's said this was the fucking... easy answer, but I still... What? what? Oh, I was just... I, I feel like I haven't seen any Donald Glover or anything in a while. He was in Andor, but that's the last oh, time I've seen Oh, okay. Him. That's a little... Was he reprising his role as young Lando, or is he someone We else? chose Star Wars. Oh, okay. <laughs> okay? Because we're just gonna... We're gonna fix it, alright? This is what I wanted to do, and then I was like, I don't want to. <laughs> we're gonna fix Good it. Good luck. Timothy Chalamet is going to be a Jedi. Oh. <laughs> okay. It's, it's going to be fine. Tom Cruise is going to be his mentor. We're redoing the Obi-Wan. Oh, and my God. I can't Tom Cruise fucking Obi-Wan role. I'm going to no, lose. Okay, not Tom Cruise. I can't, <laughs> oh my I can't God. even like slightly imagine Tom Cruise as a Jedi. I can't either. <laughs> I really can't. But Timothy oh, Chalamet, man. he already did Dune. He already, and he did Wonka. He doesn't care. He's just in it for the money and for the franchises. All right? Yeah. Yeah, He'll we're gonna whatever. fix Star Wars. I don't know how, but we're gonna fix it. Good luck. I hope you do. I don't believe in you. The good thing <laughs> is, no matter how shitty it is, we're gonna make money. That's true. That's true. It doesn't matter if you actually fix it or not. All right, we're also oh. redoing Romeo and Juliet okay. with Timothy Chalamet and Anya Taylor Joy. There you go. That's that's guaranteed money, bro. It actually is. That yeah. That'll get people's fucking asses in the seats for sure. And and because of the Romeo and Juliet we saw in high school, Anya Taylor Joy is gonna reveal her yiddies for the first time. It's gonna be great. <laughs> for the first time? Oh boy. I don't think she has in a movie, so we're gonna make lots of money. <laughs> gonna need we're gonna tease that. it in the trailers. Like in the trailers, she's just gonna almost reveal it. And then oh, we're good. And then and then yep, yeah, then people are gonna be like, That's how that's how you do it. All the does. fucking dudes are gonna be like, bro, we gotta fucking see that, bro. Holy shit. And you're just fucking locked. <laughs> Although I'm sh I, and plus I'm pretty sure you can't show Yiddies in trailers. 
Uh, I mean, if it's like a fucking yeah, you probably can't. <laughs> probably can't. My first film. I don't even remember what this means. I think it's the classic in Latin. Oh, okay. We're going as douchey as possible. Yeah. So, we have Yorgos directing, and then Tom Cruise is reprising his drama. And then we got Emma Stone, because she has a rapport with Yorgos. <laughs> okay. And then we have Ayo Itaberry, because she's making her big screen debut. Yep. You gotta, you gotta balance it out a little bit, you know? You can't do... Location. All established stars. We went the, I went with the Whoa, two I was not I expecting of, this. Norway. What the fuck? I like the um, I like the Norway. Show. I just feel like I just feel like there's like a lot of like uh like Norse and like Viking lore that you can like build off of and like the scenery is really good, so it's Oh it's that valid. that is true. It'd probably be great for filming. You do landscape um, shots. We're going 120 more. days after the actual release. Holy. Release because I'm trying to convince you the fucking... I'm trying to convince you to see it like you used to have to do. Right. I remember when it'd be like three or four months and you'd have to fucking wait. Nope. I uh, think the only like two week. options you have are what you chose and what I chose. Like, right. I hate the stupid shit where they're doing like two weeks after. <laughs> yeah. that That's annoying. Either um, just fucking just, do it right away or name, don't. But... Oh. Films de douchebag potential. Uh, we need like a logo for this. I think it's believable. <laughs> I kind of love if it. If douchebag had a funnier translation, it probably would be believable. Yeah, it would be. Yeah. It... Oh man, I'm kind of sad it doesn't. I wonder if a language has like a good translation for it. I want something where it's like unrecognizable. But, uh, that, that's that's my movie. Out of studio. I think that was fucking great. I like how we went. Almost like completely opposite directions. Oh yeah, I went art house and you went uh, kind of for the money. I, I definitely am trying to make bank. There was there was a couple parts that were a little risky. Like okay, well, I'm gonna go for this and fix it because I want to. I went art house, but I also chose Star Wars because like oh yeah, true. 